Has the goddess returned less than five feet from my door, which was not closed all the way? The more I looked at her, the more I thought it possible. For we captured an identical diamondback last summer on the side of the house, very near the summer solstice. I carried her three quarters of a mile through the hot Arizona desert for release in a picturesque setting on the other side of the hill. She had tin rattles too, and a beautiful face, for a viper that is, the star of my channel page video. This was the vernal equinox, another auspicious day for gods and goddesses and those who follow them. But I won't know for sure until I compare stills from the footage. So I wanted to relocate this one in a similar setting, with wildflowers no less. But she had her own ideas and very quickly disappeared in the brush under the canopy of a Palo Verde tree. But I'm used to bending over backwards through brush and bramble for the wildlife I love to capture the video for all to see in their natural setting, wild and free, as they should all be. But I'm no Dr. Seuss, so what's the use of trying to run? I'm almost out of time. But talk about camouflage, this is it. Finally got her in a shot with one flower at least. These others were not far away. A diamond in the wildflowers of an Arizona spring. Diamonds are difficult to find. And these flowers are priceless. Diamonds and flowers for everyone. But especially the mothers out there on this their day. It was so hard to pull myself away. I sure hope she stays.